Hi everybody, I'm Belinda and today I want to show you a way to do dry point engraving on plexiglass. I've shown plexiglass like this before. This is sometimes difficult to see um, as you're working on the plexiglass. There's a lot of uh, moving it in the light to find where your scribe has left marks gouging into the surface. As an experiment, I bought a piece of black plexiglass and did the engraving on this. The scribe leaves a nice white trail on the surface of the plexi, which is great and easy to see. I was happy with the results. I was able to pull a nice high contrast dry point. Have a look at this video and see what I mean. I think that this is a really nice option if you have trouble seeing your dry point on plexiglass. I bought a 12 by 12 piece of black plexiglass on Amazon for just under $4. I wasn't sure this would work, so I cut a small 4x5 piece from the 12x12. 12 12. Use rubber tip spring clamps or something like it to secure it to the table. Use a sharp utility knife and uh, go slow. Score the sheet at least 3 or 4 times before you put your body weight into it to break it at the score line. I continued scoring and snapping and had 7 pieces when I was finished. Don't be too concerned if the break along your score line is a little jagged because you'll probably bevel this down with a file or a rasp. Once you have the size you want, peel the protective paper off. In my haste to see if this would work, I started drawing with a cork handled scribe and just kept going. I paused long enough to bevel the edges with a rasp and a sanding block. It's important to do this if you're going to print the dry point on a press. The sharp edge on an unbeveled plate will cut through your paper and the blankets on the press. You can see here, using a scribe on the black plexi leaves a nice bright white line. Compared to clear plexiglass, this is much more visible. In this shot, I've already inked, wiped, and printed the plate once for a proof. After pulling the proof print, I'm making adjustments to the plate, adding some more darks through crosshatching. And that's the brighter white lines that you see on the plate now. Keep in mind that your darks and lights will be reversed on the print, similar to a photographic negative. I've got a piece of craft felt rolled and taped to create a dauber, and I'll use this to apply ink to the plate. Small circular motions work best to push ink into all the cross-hatching marks. After the dauber, a card can be used to remove any excess ink from the plate. Tarlatan is cheesecloth that's been stiffened with starch. After the tarlatan, newsprint or old phone book pages work great. At this stage, seeing the ink on the plate wasn't as difficult as I thought it would because of the gloss of the plate where the ink was cleared. I used some strips of newsprint to do a little spot rubbing on areas that I knew I wanted to have bright whites. And then a cotton rag was used to clean the edges of the plate before printing. This first print had a tiny bit of ink bleed, but the rest of the edition of five came out great. And I definitely plan to use the black plexiglass again for future dry points. that was my experiment engraving a dry point on black plexiglass. Uh, give it a try. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you'd like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're interested in future videos, by all means, subscribe so that you don't miss anything coming up. Thank you very much for watching and thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.